heavyweight bout scheduled for 10 rounds. Dominic Brazil at 19 and 1, 17 by a knockout. Carlos Negron, 20 and 1, 16 knockouts. Brazil, 6 foot 7. Negron is 6'6, six, six, a 30 pound weight differential. Negron with the edge in reach. Let's head to the ring. Hall of Fame ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, New York. It's Premier Boxing Champions on Fox, and we have a big night of boxing coming your way, sponsored by MGM Resorts. We're ready for our first bout of the evening, introducing our judges scoring from ringside. We have John Basili, Kevin Morgan, and Waleska Roldan. All right, fans, here we go. 10 rounds of boxing in a heavyweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with red and blue trim. He is fighting out of Miami by way of San Juan, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at 226 pounds. He's a former Olympian with a professional record of 20 wins, one loss with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Carlos Negron. And his opponent across the ring finding out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with gold trim. From Eastvale, California, by way of Alhambra, California, he weighed in at 256 and one half pounds. His record, 19 wins, one loss, with 17 big wins coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked the WBC number four heavyweight contender. Please welcome the former world title challenger, Dominic Trouble Brazil. And the referee in charge now to give instructions, Arthur McKenzie. Good evening, gentlemen. We went over the rules early in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Any of my intentions at all time. Good luck. Touch gloves. A pair of Olympians, Dominic Brazil. In 2012, Carlos Negron. In 2008, both have only suffered one defeat during their professional careers, and they're both coming off long layoffs. Brazil has not fought in 13 months. Negron, over the last 17 months. Dominic okay. Brazil is a self-admitted slow right? starter. Okay, perfect. What can he do no, to change that? That's so lindo. Start throwing punches. Right away, eso tú lo ves todito. You know, Brazil right away through a right hand to the body. Tiene que tocarlo. Walk towards Negron, and he's throwing punches already. So he's looking to land something solid right away. There we go. Guard up. Brazil at 19 and one, 17 knockouts. Negron, 20 and one. With 16 knockouts, Brazil, a California native, former si college to. quarterback at Northern Colorado. Negron's just two, taking one. his time. He's just waiting for Dominic to, to throw things. He needs to get things started himself. Brazil, six foot seven. Negron, six foot six. Lennox, you can relate to their size. Oh yeah, absolutely. Big guys punch hard. And it does take us a little while to get warmed up. Feeling out process over the first minute. Round one scheduled for 10 in Brooklyn. Body shot by Brazil. You can see that uh, Negron is trying to size up uh, Brazil and he's not uh, he's not so anxious to really land anything big. He's just trying to figure him out, find his distance, and uh, measure him for a counter punch, which I'm sure he's going to start throwing pretty soon. Negron, a native of Puerto Rico, now training to Miami, held a 12-week training camp, getting ready for this battle. 
So the girl's got a good left hook, too. So he'll counter you. If you throw a right hand on the girl, he's going to counter you with the hook and then drop back down to the body with that left hook. So he's got a great liver shot and a great left hook. But I think Brazil is the stronger guy here. And the girl, he actually threw a left left hook, right hand. And I think that's going to... you got to look for that punch, that combination later on because that's a good combination. <laughs> Final minute, round one. <laughs> what kind of effect can the long layoffs have for both fighters? Well, you know, you, you, it's hard to tell if they're rusty right now, but I'm sure internally they feel like they aren't as sharp as they're going to be in the next few rounds. They'll probably shed a little of that rust and, and start being a little bit more accurate with punches. Final seconds of round one. No push, no push. The grown 31 years of age, turned pro. At the age of 22, amateur record of 93 and 9 for the grown who comes from a family of police officers. Who had the edge in your mind, uh, Lennox, in round one? Well, you know, I, I would say, ooh, I stepped on his foot. Was, uh, Dominic, Dominic, Dominic Brazil really came out like he wanted to really throw some heavy punches. But what he should have done is really just establish his jab a little bit better before throwing too many right hands. But, and he also said to me that he wanted to hit him in the body, just to test his body out a little bit. Oh, big left by the grown. Brazil telling us yesterday, someone's getting knocked out for sure. I'm looking for a, a first round KO. Well, that was not the case. No, uh, you know, Negron is a, he's a classic Puerto Rican boxer. He's, he's smart, he keeps his hands up well, he's trained well. He's a smart guy, but you know, look, I mean, Brazil's got the size on him, the weight at least, by 30 pounds. But you see that body work by Negron, he's, he's a well-trained fighter. Um, I think that uh, Brazil's going to have to wear him down and slow him down by hitting him with something soft. Otherwise, you know, Negron is doing a good job of boxing right now. Doubling up his hook and dropping to the body with that left hook to the liver. Yeah, that left hook to the liver, he really rips that around. Yeah, he does. See, that's a mistake by Brazil because you can't, when you punch down to the body, you got to bring your hands back up. Very important. Or get under that counter hook. Yeah, or he's going to get caught. Mm -hmm. And that's something that Grown has noticed while preparing for this fight. And Grown told us yesterday when we asked about Brazil, he said his weakness is his defense. Total punches to this point. Negron has landed 45%. Brazil only 17%. And he, you notice Negron's uh, demeanor in there. He's very relaxed. He's, he's got his eyes really focused on Brazil. Brazil's going to have to break him down and land some hard shots on him eventually, which I think he will. This is a you know, 10 round fight. Also, he has to think about a little bit of defense. Brazil has to think about defense because right now he gets caught with silly jobs and he shouldn't be, he should be blocking them. Lennox, how can Negron exploit what he perceives as that lack of defense by Brazil? Well, right now he seems like he's just taking his time. He wants to go a couple rounds and then probably come out with some really heavy shots. But right now he's just picking. He's trying to establish that job. Good combination by Negron. Round two, winding down in Brooklyn. Dominic, here's the body punch by Negron. Wicked shot, he whipped it around, hit him right. A good shot in the, in the belly. Negron landed 11 of 19 jabs in round two. <laughs> round three, scheduled for 10 from Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Surprise, Joe, by anything you've seen well, so far. What I see right now is, is Dominic Brazil is walking in without using a jab, okay? And he's being hit with a jab as he's walking in. That's not good. And, of course, uh, Legron is, is landing nice, sharp, crisp combinations. 
and Brazil better start landing something effective or this could be a long night for them. Wait, wait, step the back and wait. Not only that, you know, there's a weight difference between both guys. And as the fight gets longer, I think it's going to be more uh, positive for the drone because he's lighter. A 30 pound weight differential. Yeah, if he can keep moving on his feet like this and not Middle. sitting on the rope. But there you go. See, this is what Brazil's going to do. Uh -oh. And he can hurt this guy. Yeah, he was hurt. Yeah. He was hurt. And so, you know, so a nice combination by Brazil. And the groan, of course, complained about getting hit behind the head with a little uh, loop of right hand on the inside, which he had every right to complain about. Groan's got to keep walking. He just does not want to sit still. This is where he's going to get into trouble. And it looks like somebody's already cut. It looks like Groan was cut on you know, one of his eyes. It looks like his left eye. And uh, Groan better be careful, too. You can't duck that low, especially below the belt like that. But he's got a fast jab. That jab is very accurate as well. Yeah, Brazil's starting to impose his will on Groan right now. And... Uh, you know, that doesn't uh, bode well for Negron, because if he starts walking through his punches... One trickling down the left side of the yeah. Rome's face. My gut, let me tell you, Dominic Brazil wants to get him out of here. But he needs to be careful. As you can see, he's getting a little bit winded. So he has to conserve his energy a little bit. Big left to the body by Negron. Of course, Negron has switched to a southpaw here. That could maybe work to his advantage, maybe his disadvantage. We'll find out in a few seconds. And he's going, actually sees Dominic a little bit tired. And he's doing the smallest thing, hitting to the belly, right. making him even more tired. Negron missing with that left hook. High winding down in round three. Brazil. Well, I got to tell you, Kenny, uh, Negron working out of that southpaw stance really uh, worked to his advantage uh, you know, in the last round, even though he caught him with the punch at the, on the ropes at the very last second of the round and they had a little tip going on. I thought Negron really did very well in that round. And then as we begin round four, a couple of left jams by Negron. Brazil is just walking in there. He has to think, be more cautious and think about defense a little bit better or he's going to get caught. We mentioned he's a former quarterback and he told us I can no longer rely on my left tackle for protection. Footwork is always important, especially when it comes to heavyweights. Once you're out of position and off balance, you can get caught easy. To the body by the draw and then some jabs with the right hand as Brazil answers back. Brazil landed a good right hand uh, against Negron there, but that was after he took two or three good body shots. So right now, uh, Negron again is uh, the one who's got the advantage in the punch count and the solid punches to the body. What do you think, Lennox? He thinks he's doing better as a right hand or a left hand? Yeah, he's doing better as a right hand. Yeah, absolutely. Do you agree, Joe, or disagree? Well, no, what I'm seeing is he's actually landing uh, some really good punches as a left-hander. Oh, yeah. He's taking punches as a right-hander right now, and Negron's uh, making them on. But, man, you don't want to take too many of those because Dominic uh, Brazil is, is a heavy hand guy. Right. One minute remaining in round four, scheduled for ten. Dominic Brazil forcing the action, but he can't get sloppy here. Take now. Watch the back of your head. Behind the head right there. I know. I think Arthur McKinney uh, warned him on that. Brazil uh, placed uh, the head. Keep it clean, boys. Thirty seconds remaining in round four. Negron looking a little bit weary in this in this round. He needs to get back to the jab. 
It's not like one, two punches, one, two, three punches, sometimes four. So that's really good. A look at the unofficial scorecard from Hall of Famer Larry Hazard, even through the first four. And according to Comic Crack, 90% of the fight has been spent for the distance, allowing their prone to use his jab. Yeah, well, you know, again. What, what I've noticed here, what I, I thought earlier, is that Brazil is the stronger guy. He takes the better punch. You saw Negron got hit with one solid right hand and was on wobbly legs. So he's the one who's got to be very careful about getting hit. It seems Brazil has taken the better punch tonight. And they're both pretty heavy-handed guys. They are heavy-handed, but it seems like Negron, he's like he comes up and he goes down. He comes up and he goes down. When you think he's down, he comes back with a terrific combination. I think he's just biding his time, really, he's just waiting for the perfect opportunity. You're talking about the drone right now. Yeah. yeah. And I think it works uh, conversely with Brazil. He's waiting for the, the big shot he needs. And they're starting to come. Yeah, and let me tell you, when they trade punches, the first one that lands, the first one that go. So both of them are trying to land their right hand. You're right, you're right. I just think Brazil's going to take the better punch in the long run tonight. In the long run. And the, the run is switching back and forth. He better make up his mind. <laughs> you're right about that. Brazil is just missing with some solid right hands. He's, he's trying to sneak that, and that was a, a little awkward right hand, but he's trying to sneak that straight right hand in on him again. The one that hit him in the last round. Final minute, round five. Dominic Brazil from Glendale, California, 33 years of age, and 31-year-old Carlos Negron for Puerto Rico, now trains in Miami. Both with only one loss during their pro careers. Negron 20 and 1, 16 knockouts. Brazil 19 and 1 with 17 knockouts. Yeah, it looks to me like Negron is slowing down a little bit. He's starting to get a little weary. His hands are starting to drop. The jab is landing for Brazil. And, you know, we still have uh, this round and four more to go afterwards. So, you know, it looks like it's swinging in uh, Brazil's direction right now. Yeah, I notice every time it gets close to the end of the round, they really turn it up. Mm -hmm. so, oh, there it's we like go. they're trying to win the round. round. Whoever steps it up wins this round. At one point, was able to throw a football 78 yards. He told us... He once heaved it 52 yards from his knees. Well, when he was on his knees, he was still six feet tall. Right. So, you know, no wonder doesn't he surprise was, me, right? No wonder he was once recruited by Pete Carroll. Which he turned down, the invitation. I'll see if you can believe that. But he, he, he even says he regrets it. But I, I got to tell you, I think Brazil right now is coming on a little bit. Um, I, I think the weight advantage and the pressing that he's doing and, and making the groan move so much right now. And the groan isn't trying to punch him there. He's holding. So I, I think the uh, the fight is shifting towards uh, Brazil. Hadi Anto is with us. Hadi, what's going on in the corner? Thank you very much, guys. I had an opportunity to talk to Carlos Negron's coach, Herman Caicedo. He told me that when there's a miss, he doesn't need him to hit him hard. He just needs to touch him. That's what's missing from his game right now, guys. So basically what he's saying, he just needs to, once he makes him miss, he makes, has to make him pay. That's what he's not doing. And that takes a lot more energy out of Dominic because once he misses and he gets hit, he has to recover. Yeah. come back and find his opponent and bump him and punch again. Yeah, the drone finally land, landed about 10 seconds ago, a little rough cook, and then another liver shot off the ropes and spun off like he's been doing. If he can continue to do that, he'll keep winning rounds. But, uh, you know, Dominique is really applying the pressure right now. He's, yeah, he's, he's being first. He's, he's the first one to make a movement. The judges really like that. That's right. As we uh, 
As we talked to Larry Hazard earlier, you know, it's effective aggressiveness that counts in this game. And that's what Dominic is doing. Dominic's trying to land that right hand. Round six, scheduled for ten. The Crawler has gone past the sixth round only once in his entire career. 21 pro bouts, and that was seven years ago. So Dominique's got to start throwing that left hook to deliver himself with a left hook after his right hand. He's depending on just the short one, two, and it's, it's some of them are landing and some aren't. But he's got to follow up off from this right hand to the body and use that left hook himself. And it might pay off. He needs to settle down a little bit, even to a double There's that good left hook. And you're right about the jab. He's got to match jab for jab. Right there, he's got to throw it with him. Would you agree, Len? I, I agree. You know, what he, what he should do as well, he's moving him against the ropes. As he gets him against the ropes, that's when he should come out with a combination. Final seconds, round six. Back in Brooklyn, so Carlos Negron going past six rounds for only the second time in his career, and for Dominic Brazil, it's only his fifth time past five rounds. Well, again, they're both, you know, they're home run hitters. They, they, they've got a lot of knockouts. But the knockout percentage is high, and uh, chances are we're going to get a knockout somewhere along the line here. It doesn't seem... It seems more probable there's going to be a knockout somewhere along the line here. It could come in the next couple rounds if Dominic Brazil, and I'm favoring him to, to get the knockout if it comes. Um, if he can land, uh, you know, a, a, a good combination. So far, it's just been one, two. Let me tell you, any one of these guys can land a knockout right now because both throw heavy punches and they're trying to get a knockout, both of them. What's going on here? Why would he back up? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You have a look at Larry Hazard's unofficial scorecard. Larry has given Brazil the last three rounds, 10-9, 58-56. Overall for Brazil, big left by the drone. Nothing seems to affect Brazil, though. He got hit with a right hand right here in the middle of the ring, and, and he just kept coming right out. He's just walking through with his punches to me. He's not a good left hook right hand. Yeah, some, some of the drones combinations, they're light, but uh, they're effective. They're, 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 they definitely score, score points. Well, I agree with that. Well, he needs to step more in with his punches. Get that body behind that. Get that weight behind his punches. In the fifth and sixth rounds, Brazil had a huge edge, 47-22, punches that landed. Right hand. I just think he's missing an opportunity not throwing that left hook behind that right hand. At least yeah. at the he needs to throw that left hook. He's dependent on the right hand a little bit too much. Well, I know you like to throw the right hand a little bit, Lennox. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, certain guys, they look out for that right hand. Just like McGraw, he's looking out for that right hand. That's right. That's, that's, that's where you have to throw another punch, a left hook. Joe told us he's usually a slow starter, and that was the case here tonight. Harry Hazard gave two of the first three rounds to Negron, but uh, Brazil has settled down and come on over the last three plus rounds. Well, they're both landed a nice combination there, but and there goes Negron again, you know, two, three punches at a time. Ten seconds remaining in round seven. According to Larry Hazard, our unofficial scorecard, the last four rounds to Brazil. Do you guys agree with Larry? Yes, I do. I not only agree with Ray, but Larry, I agree with Ray as well. Um, that he's controlling the tempo, controlling the pace, and landed a nice little counter hook right there off the uh, end of the room. But again, if anybody's going to get knocked out to me, I think it's going to be Negron. Not that he's going to get knocked out, but I think the stronger man in the right now is Dominic Brazil. And again, by Larry Hazard's scorecard, he's been winning the last few rounds 
breaking the ball down. And he's just not being real accurate. And he may be in the layoff they had. You know, both these fighters have been out of the ring for you know, a good while. Right, Brazil for 13 months, Negron for 17 months. Both Olympians, Brazil, back in 2012, represented the United States, lost in the first round to Grom, representing Puerto Rico and Beijing in 2008, won his first fight. Well, he's a cagey fighter, he really is. But I, I just think Dominique is missing his uh, his chances here. He should be hitting them when the when is on the ropes. He should be going that body hard, you know? You know, he's, he's, he's passing up some really good opportunities here because the ground is slowing down. You see, Dominic threw that right hand to the body, and boy, the left hook was wide open because the right hand of the ground was down. Very well, he finally went to the body there. He's got to do that more often. And the ground, in, in all fairness, came back with a good shot himself. Now a warning to the ground from referee Arthur McCampy. Final minute, round eight, scheduled for 10. See, I'm not too sure that punch from the drone was behind Brazil's head. I think it was to the ear, and it bothered Brazil. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And, and, and Brazil, uh, you know, retaliated with a little bit of a rabbit punch there, which he was warned for. There it is. Yeah, uh, well, yeah but look, the, the right hand did go behind the head because Brazil turned his head. Okay? So, you know, it's protect yourself at all times in the ring. See, in this particular position, this is where Dominic should step to the side and give him a different angle. All he's doing is right in front of him. Instructions from trainer Manny Robles to Dominic Brazil as we begin round nine, scheduled for 10 from Barclay Center in Brooklyn. Yeah, in the last round, uh, Kenny, you know, Negron did a good job working out of the corner here. He was actually a slicker guy in the corner. He was slipping and sliding, not moving much, but just his upper body and landing some cute little uppercuts on Brazil. And I think Brazil should have taken Lennox's advice and you know, take some angles on him. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, he's a stationary target for him. Yeah, right Right now, he, you know, obviously he's pushing his weight forward. Sometimes you got to change angles on a person and give him something different. You can't give him the same thing all the time. Both mm -hmm. well, fighters not used to go this deep in Brazil's career. His average number of rounds per fight, just under four, and for a broad, it's two and a half per bout. And Dominic Brazil needs to throw that left hook because anytime a guy moves to your left, throw that left hook. Don't let him escape so easy. Right. Negron's uh, proven to be a, a pretty cagey fighter in there, right? Oh, yeah. He's cagey. Well, he's protecting himself. He doesn't want to get hit. He's looking for the openings and he's, he's using his quickness. Oh! That was a really, that was a right hand from left field. Well, I remember throwing shots like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what it was? McGraw just kind of was closing through that round. It yeah. wasn't, wasn't expected. Was he focusing on right. even? <laughs> what a right hand. So Dominic Brazil ends it in round nine. And he wants the Uncle Wilder. Well, yeah, when Dom Dominic Brazil settled something here tonight, you know? He, he, he took a really good fighter. He took a really good fighter and knocked him out. Let yeah, me tell you, everybody who always wants the champ. Right, right, of course. Did anybody ever do this to you at all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The WBC is the saying, I'm right here, buddy. I'm right here. I ain't, I'm the champ. Come get it. Come get it. 
for two left, total shift to the end. Somebody's getting knocked out for sure. He's falls in trouble. As Brazil goes to 20 and 1 with 18 knockouts in his professional career. Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans, we have the time of one minute, 37 seconds in round number nine. He is the winner by way of knockout, Dominic Trouble Brazil.